What's up creatives, welcome to The Tiffy Show. Today we are giving you the best ice cream places to visit when you come to Studio City. If you haven't, make sure you turn on notifications so that you know when I post a video. We're in Studio City, which is a suburb of Los Angeles. This cute neighborhood has everything that you need from restaurants to bars. And if you haven't seen my bars video, you should go down to the link below because I did cover all the top bars to visit when you come as well. But we're, today we're doing ice cream. So let's get to it, the best ice cream places in Studio City. Roll them. We're at Salt and Straw, which was founded by cousins Tyler and Kim Malik. And it started out as a cart that they had in Portland, Oregon, and it blossomed into a brick and mortar store. And now they have scoop shops all around the US. And we are here at the one in Studio City. Now what's awesome about Salt and Straw is it's artisanal small batch ice cream, and they roll out new flavors monthly. And you can always find crazy and weird concoctions. And when I say unique flavors, I mean unique flavors. For example, in October, October for Halloween, they have flavors that include blood pudding, crickets, mealworms. And I love to come to Salt and Straw every month to see their new flavors, but they also have staples that they keep year round, including one of my favorites, which is honey lavender. And they also have a vanilla that's year round as well. And you can always find one vegan flavor for all of you non-dairy lovers out there. Now, when asked what the craziest flavor they've created has been, it is the bone marrow and cherries. And their most popular flavor, if you're wondering if you wanna come down here and maybe not get something that's so crazy or so unique, they have the sea salt and caramel ribbons. That is what they're known for. And that's pretty much always on the menu. So you should definitely try that. Co-founder Tyler and head ice cream maker has created over 500 flavors. And he says he has no plans on stopping anytime soon and we hope he doesn't for the sake of myself because I love Salt and Straw's ice cream. If you don't feel like standing in the line, which you're going to find lines, these are the most popular places to get ice cream here, then a good tip is to go and buy a pint. Yes, you are going to be taking a chance and you can't sample all the flavors, but it's ice cream, so you're not gonna be losing and you can get a pint or two and that is a good way to skip the line and get your ice cream a lot faster. If you want a gelato experience, then we're at Fata Morgana in Studio City. Now this is the real deal gelato. Maria, the founder, actually created a gluten-free gelato. So all of them are gluten-free and delicious. And she actually has 350 recipes and they always have 66 on display. That is a lot to take in. If you're wondering what Fata Morgana means, it's the horizon that's right above the sea. It's the mirage over the sea. And that is a beautiful way to explain all the delicious flavors that they have here that are very unique. Don't be overwhelmed, there's a lot of flavors. And then if you do feel like I just can't choose, you can pick what I picked, which was vanilla. And I also got the Stratticella, the Stratticelli, the Strata, we're gonna write it right here because I'm butchering it. But that's their most popular flavor. So you won't fail if you pick that. And the chestnut honey and the coconut cream are also delicious. And if you're vegan, do not worry. I said they have 66 flavors. That means they have you covered too. And there's more than one choice. So you get more than one choice if you're a vegan. And just come here and enjoy it. And if you just want to spend a whole day sampling, they're very patient and they got you. So come and enjoy some gelato.
McConnell's Fine Ice Creams. Now this company started in Santa Barbara 70 years ago. Yes, 70 years, that's how long they've been around. And they started as a dairy farm until they realized that they wanted to, you know, fine tune and just specialize in making ice cream. Now they do everything from producing the actual ice cream to making the cookies in house. So they pride themselves in that specialty and using only the finest ingredients. In 2013, they opened their flagship store in Santa Barbara because that's where they started this whole thing. And if you want the true experience, all of the locations are located in California. You won't get them anywhere else. So that in itself is a reason to visit the one in Studio City. They have seasonal flavors and they pride themselves in keeping the simplicity so that you taste what the main flavor is. I got churro con leche, which was delicious. I love churros. Cookie dough, and I also tasted their Earl Grey float which is a unique flavor because it's tea with ice cream inside. It's not their most popular, but you should definitely try it just to try something different and you probably won't get that anywhere else. And their scoop shops are only in California, so that's a main reason to come and visit the one in Studio City. You can't go wrong. You're not gonna get this anywhere else unless you come to California. I'm at Drip and Roll, which is a hidden spot in Studio City, as you can see. It's kind of in a strip mall, and it's a family-owned business that does organic rolled ice cream. So they put it out on a slab, basically, and roll it in front of you, and it's delicious. I got the Cereal Killer, which is a vanilla base with fruity pebbles and whipped cream and condensed milk, and it just is full of nostalgia and will take you back to your childhood. And this is a new establishment, so if you're looking for something a little more unique and just new to Studio City and you want to support a local business, here you go at Drip and Roll. That's it. That's all of the ice cream that our bellies can handle. I mean, did you see how much ice cream we had? I can't even pick a favorite. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you share, like, subscribe, and comment. Comment below. Let me know which neighborhood in Southern California you would like me to visit for future videos. And I will see you next time. Stay creative. If you don't feel like standing in line, which there might be a line, these are popular places in Los Angeles, then you can. <laughs> that's dope, though. I can't even... <laughs>